Are you looking for ways to be a better student this semester? Well, in this video, we go over 50 tips for engineering students so you can crush it and succeed. Hey, 1% Nation, I'm Jake Voorhees, and you are watching episode 29 of the 1% Engineer Show, where we empower young engineers to rise to the top 1% of their career. Starting a new semester is always exciting, yet challenging at the same time for students, whether you're an upcoming freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, everyone is always looking to get a clean start, get rolling in the best way possible, get good grades, start their habits strong from the end of August all the way to holiday break, set themselves up for job opportunities, network, everything like that. So I made this video, which is 50 fast, short, sweet, simple tips for engineering students so that you can win. So let's jump right into it. One, always go to class, no matter what anyone says, Regardless of the blogs and other YouTube channels out there, you never know when that next exam tip is coming. You never know when that pop quiz or that participation moment is coming. You have to go guys, especially you engineers, you have to go. Two, review the material before class. If you don't, you're gonna be lost and you're just gonna be scrambling down notes instead of learning, instead of having opportunities to ask questions, review the lecture material before class. Three, take active notes. And if you didn't review the material before class, you won't be able to do that you won't actually be able to retain the knowledge while you're taking notes and learning actively again instead of just scrambling and trying to write down all your chicken scratch and keep up you're actually going to be able to figure out what the professor is talking about actively so take good notes learn how to take good notes actively for ask questions in class this does so many things for you it puts you on the map for the professor and it allows you to get more experienced public speaking it will help you stand out when you approach other students to do homework with them so always ask at least one question in class. Five, sit in the front. A lot of you guys are gonna drift right to the middle like the average pack or sit in the back with your friends. But the reality is if you sit in the front, it's gonna encourage you to pay attention. It's gonna encourage you to engage with the professor. It's gonna encourage you to take active notes. Sit in the front. Six, never use your phone in class. Talk about disrespect to the professor. Talk about shooting yourself in the foot when it comes to final grade, when it comes to asking for a letter of recommendation or a reference. They're not gonna like you. It is so disrespectful. Don't do it. Plus, it's a good way to miss whatever is going on, to miss that little tidbit that might be on an exam. Put your phone on airplane mode and leave it in your bag. Seven, review the syllabus so you know when the exams are, you know when the projects are, so you know what's going on to the roadmap of that course and you're not lost about what's coming up next week. It gives you an opportunity to ask questions. It gives you an opportunity to stay ahead of the game. Eight, and if projects aren't on the syllabus, then you need to ask the professor so you can start brainstorming a project so you can start developing a team. Go ahead, ask the professor, put in that extra time and figure out what is going on in your classes so you are aware, so you actually have the ability to win. Nine, stay after class and develop a relationship with the professor. Again, this is gonna give you a lot of benefit for that final grade. It's gonna show the professor that you want to win. It's gonna allow you to stand out. They're gonna know your name. It's gonna show ambition. It's gonna develop the best possible relationship as possible with that professor. 10, and follow up to nine, staying after class. You should also go to the office office hours of these professors. Do this in the first week so you can build that relationship with them. They know your name and it will give you a little bit of jump start if you want to go to them sophomore year and talk about research opportunities or get more involvement in whatever team that they're associated with. But go to office hours, guys. Ask your professors for help. Get a little bit of extra guidance. And it helps so much when it comes to giving you a little grade boost for a project or a test. So make sure you go say hi. Go say what's up to your professors. They're nice. They want you to succeed. They want to say hi. They want to get to know you. 11, develop good relationships with students in class. This is also done by being present and having your phone in your bag instead of looking at it when you're walking out of class. And if you stay after class and ask a couple questions to the professor on the chalkboard, these are the types of students that you want to be studying with. So make sure you bond with them. This will give you the ability to do homework in groups, projects in groups, and study for exams in groups. 12, start your homework early. Often there's going to be at least one homework problem that snags you so if you wait to the last second if you don't start it till 10 p.m. the night before you're probably gonna be screwed you're not gonna finish you're not gonna get a good grade so start early 13 always do homeworks in groups now if you have actually developed relationships with your classmates you have an easy opportunity to get together two three days before that homework is due and crush it together it makes it so much easier 
It helps if one person is teaching the other because in order for you to teach someone or help someone else out, you really have to know it. And likewise, if you're struggling, you can get aid from your group. 14, and be really careful who you are doing homework with, who you are spending time with. Don't spend it with people who are gonna bring you down. Spend time with people who are gonna bring you up, who want to study, who want to take their classes serious with. Surround yourself with winners. I have a video talking about how friends affect you so much, so be careful who you're spending your time with, guys. Make sure you surround yourself with winners. 15, do not hesitate to seek out a tutor whether that is an on-campus resource or a remote online resource, but there's plenty of support out there for your engineering classes, so please don't hesitate, don't be embarrassed. It's way better that you seek out a tutor than fail a class. 16, buy your textbooks online. Many university bookstores are very expensive, they make a ton of money from selling books, and you can save a bunch of cash by going to Amazon or eBay and buying your books online. 17, get the right laptop. Check out episode 28 for that, because you wanna make sure you have the right balance between portability, processing power, battery life, whatever is important to you, you need the right engineering laptop for success. 18, always back up your files, whether that means having an external hard drive or putting stuff on Dropbox, there's really no excuse, guys. Laptops die all the time, so back up your stuff. Your academic files are way too important for you to be jeopardizing them, so back them up. 19, get a good antivirus on your laptop. You or your family spend all this money for a nice laptop, and your friends are gonna be using it, you're gonna be passing around USB sticks, you're gonna be passing around files from other students, and you're a little bit at risk for viruses or malware or spyware if you don't have free software. I recommend AVG, it's free, it's really good. I've been using it for years, I've never had a virus, weird, so download it. 20, make sure that you know what classes are coming down the pipe next semester, sophomore year, junior year, whatever is in your future, so that you can best plan, you can ensure that you're not taking the hardest professor or the worst type of computer science like what I did, and I had to switch it and change classes. Make sure you know the curriculum, that's ahead of you. 21, take advantage of elective opportunities even though you may have fewer of them as an engineer. Make sure that you're taking tech electives and humanitarian electives that are somewhat in the realm of applicable to whatever your career focus is. For example, for me, I took transportation courses as my tech electives and philosophy courses that helped me gain a better perspective on the world, and I felt that it helped my career. 22, see what research opportunities and volunteer opportunities are available on campus. Again, this helps so much. If you have a good relationship with your professor, you can drop by in office hours and say, hey, I'm interested in doing this, I'm interested in getting more involved in your research, or some sort of student groups or engineering groups, so make sure that you volunteer as much as possible, gain that free experience. 23, start your engineering blog. It's such an easy ask to network with prospective employers. If you have an engineering blog, you can email them and say, hey, I would love to interview you about what your company does, about what you do as a CEO, about what you do as a researcher, or whatever it is that you're focused on, but start that blog and leverage the blog to have informational interviews. I made a video about this before, guys. Start an engineering blog. It also helps for you to document your journey. You can look back at your goals. 24, go to the Career Center and see what resources are there. They can connect students with internships. They can provide you with materials about how to make good resumes and how to make a good cover letter. So make sure you take advantage of that. It's generally free. It's there for your support, so go use it. 25, Start your resume now. There's so many students who get to junior, senior year, or maybe even graduation, and they still haven't made their engineering resume. You need to do it now. You need to be grooming it and crafting it along your road. So start it now. Do it. Make a resume. 26. Go to every career fair. Guys, these are free. It's a great opportunity for you to network and build up your contacts and practice talking with people. Put on that suit and have a little bit of fun while you're doing it. Don't take it too seriously, but the more contacts you have, have through your road to graduation, the higher your chances are for having a job. 27, join that engineering society. If you don't, you're gonna look bad next to all the other engineering students who join ASCE or Robotics Society or Society for Women Engineers or whatever, but it gives you an opportunity to meet other engineers, gives you an opportunity for leadership positions down the road. So make sure you join at least one. A lot of students join too. 28, join that engineering team. This gives you an opportunity to gain some real world experience. You can design something, you can meet other students, you can build a good relationship with whatever professor is connected to that engineering team because there generally is one. It gives you a good thing to talk about in the room when you're interviewing, so go out and join a team guys you're not going to regret it you're going to learn way more than the kids who don't so make sure you do it it also gives you a chance to win some awards with that team maybe you guys will travel and compete 
and you can also have some sort of leadership role with the team. 29, network with engineering fraternities or sororities, but it's my opinion that you should not join one. You don't need them, you don't need to pay those dues to build relationships, but it's definitely a good opportunity to meet some students who are ahead of you in the game, and if you make friends with some of these people, they're probably gonna pass you notes, they're probably gonna tell you what exams and projects were like for certain classes, so at least know who they are, try to make a couple friends with the engineering fraternity, you probably won't regret it, but I don't think you should join. 30, put everything in your calendar. If you don't, chances are you're gonna miss something, you're gonna miss a group meeting, you're gonna forget about a homework assignment or a project, so make sure you put it in Google Calendar, that's what I use, that's what I recommend. And it's free, it's easy, it syncs with your phone. Google Calendar. 31, be a good group member. Again, if you put everything in your calendar, if you actually commit to the stuff that you said you were gonna do, you're not gonna let anyone down. It's a really good way to lose homework groups, a really good way to lose project groups, so when you have group assignments, don't drop the ball on your friends, guys. 32, get a bike. Just do it, you won't regret it. It's faster to get everywhere. Even if something happens to the bike, they're not that expensive. Just get a nice bike lock like a U-lock, get a bike. 33, register for classes the minute they come available for you. So many students complain that they did not get into the class that they want, and typically that's because they're complacent, they procrastinated signing up for classes, so don't let that be you. Sign up the minute that it becomes open, have it all planned out, and know what you wanna take next semester, and hit it as soon as it opens. 35, and to make absolute sure that you're taking the right classes for next semester, before things even become available. Have a meeting with your academic advisor. Generally, a university provides one to each engineering student and seek their advice, seek their counsel. Maybe they have some words of wisdom about the classes that you should take in the right order. So the resource is there for you, utilize it. 36, explore your campus environment. There's plenty of little niche coffee shops, sandwich places, and other things like that, secret picnic places or spots to hang out. So make sure you know about these. Don't just stay in your room. Don't just go to the same spot in the library every time. Campuses generally have really cool stuff all around them, so get out there and explore. 37, make sure that you're fusing relationships with kids outside of engineering. It helps with balance. Plus, they may be able to facilitate other ideas in your head that are outside of the typical engineering thinking. Maybe they will expose you to some stuff that you never even fathomed before, so don't confine yourself to just friendships within engineering. You're not gonna regret this. 38, make sure that you guys have a balanced social life. Go to those parties, go to those fun things. Don't get too wasted, it's not worth it. Have fun, but keep it under control. You guys have a serious engineering curriculum in front of you every day, so that's your priority. 39, while we're talking about social life and partying, making sure that you have a good time in college. The one thing I would say is stay away from the hard drugs, guys. There's kids who are gonna be popping molly and blowing lines. Trust me, you're gonna see it in college at one point, but stay away from that. You're just gonna end up regretting it. You're gonna end up missing class the next day. So just don't do it. Engineers do not have time to waste, so stay away from that stuff. Plus, the kids who are involved with that are not gonna be long-term friends. They're not gonna take their classes seriously. They're not gonna take their life seriously, so. Don't do that stuff. 40, try to exercise three times a week, whether that's running or taking a swim or going to hitting the weights, shooting a hoop, whatever, riding your bike. But the endorphin release for your brain and what it does for your heart and your blood flow and the stabilization for your sleep cycle just helps so much. So get out there, take a little break, and make sure that you're staying fit. Get some exercise, guys. 41, truly get plenty of sleep. Seven, eight hours is recommended. A lot of engineering students think that they can just be Superman. They don't have to sleep, but it's just not true. You're gonna feel so much better. You're gonna be able to perform so much better the next day when you study, when you take exams, when you do homeworks. So make sure you're getting that sleep, guys. 42, wake up early. A lot of kids end up creeping it into the 3 a.m., maybe even 4 a.m., or think that they can pull on nighters and crazy stuff like this, but if you get into the routine of waking up early, it's easier and easier over time, and it allows you to have a super productive morning and just get in a better cycle because you guys know you're gonna have 8 a.m. class. So get in the habit of being an early riser. There's a reason why early bird gets the worm is a phrase because you win if you wake up early every day. 43, coffee is fine. I love coffee, I drink an okay amount of coffee, but a lot of kids who drink Nas and Monster and a bunch of Red Bull in college, they end up having bad stomach problems when they get out of college, so stay away from that crap. Just read the ingredients list. The paragraphs look like that. So stick to regular coffee, guys, when you need the caffeine boost. 44, don't wear sweatpants to class, guys. You're not impressing anyone. You're definitely not impressing 
impressing that professor, you're not impressing that person that you might be attracted to in your classes, and it's just a bad vibe. Plus, it makes you take your life more seriously. You're an adult now, you're a professional, so act like one. 45, learn about meditation. Along with getting adequate sleep and exercising, your mental space is very, very important for your overall health. So do a little bit of reading about meditation, how it can help you. Maybe download a free app like Headspace or Calm. I personally like Calm. And make sure you're getting in at least seven, 10 minutes of meditation per day. It's really gonna help you stay balanced. You're gonna feel so much better after you meditate. 46, make sure that you're eating healthy as well. Lots of college students eat crap and Hot Pockets and they treat their body like there's some sort of radioactive waste zone. And the truth is that you are what you eat. If you're putting crap into your body, you're just gonna feel like crap. You're just going to look like crap. You're not gonna have energy. You're not gonna be able to perform. You're not gonna be able to have that balance and have the energy to finish up that homework and go hang out with your friends or crush people in video games, or whatever you do outside of it. So. Whatever you're putting in your body, make sure it's quality stuff, guys, no junk. 47, don't go out to eat that much. It's not so good for your body. You know it's a lot less healthy to eat out. They usually have higher calorie portions. They usually have higher amounts of sugar and fat because it tastes good. Plus, it's much easier on your wallet. You'll save a little bit more money if you eat in, you cook your meals in, so don't eat out too much. 48, keep a journal about your engineering student journey. It gives you the ability to write down your goals. It gives you the ability to look back in your life and see what you were thinking, plus whatever struggles or pain points that you're having. It feels a lot better to write them down and look at them, and so you can focus on it and actually figure out how you can solve it instead of dwelling on it internally. 49, be confident, be bold, go out and try new things. Put yourself outside of your comfort zone. College is gonna be the best four years of your life, guys. So if you just do things that are regular and normal and not exciting, you're not gonna be maximizing your time there. You're not gonna enjoy your entire college journey. So make sure you're doing stuff that is challenging you and make sure you're going out for improv club or whatever you think is gonna make you tick, whatever's gonna get you excited, but don't be afraid of stuff. You have nothing to lose. Nobody's truly judging you. Everybody's trying to find themselves in college. So put yourself outside of your comfort zone. And 50 guys, last but not least, don't be a follower guys, be a lion. Figure out who you are, find your inner spirit, find your passion. Follow your dreams. Don't worry too much about what everyone else is doing. Figure out what you wanna do. Figure out what you wanna be in your engineering student journey and shoot for the moon. And at the very worst, you land among the stars. So those are my top 50 tips for engineering students, guys. If you like this video, please consider subscribing because I release episodes on Wednesdays and Saturdays about how you can crush it in your career and become a 1% engineer. Cheers.